Signs of the end time. Signs of the time and the end of the world. Part 2. The first part is on the 25th of February, if you don't, if you for, if you don't forget, if you remember. But today, because of all the activities that we are having Sundays, that is why there's a gap. But today will be the part two, and we have only just um, 40 minutes to close, and I will make sure I touch the place that I'm supposed to touch. Please, if you don't listen to the part one of this, you can tell the media to send it to you. It's a thing that we listen to on and on and on and on. I've listened to it myself this morning again. The end, the time, the signs of the time and the end of the world. And I laid several examples last time that we preach it, which we start again in Matthew 24, verse 3 to, 20, to 14. Matthew 24, verse 3 to 14. Please, I want us to read together to our understanding. I will go, let's go. Now as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciple came to him privately saying, tell us when will these things be and what will be the signs of your coming and of the end of the world. And Jesus answered and said to them, take heed that, what did he say? Let's go. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. And you'll be here of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in various places. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you. And you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended, will be betrayed one nation, and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because loneliness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endure to the end shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nation and then the end we come praise the lord praise the living jesus we are going to take this uh, this 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 this, this uh, verses one after the other which we did last time that we preach it and I gave us the example of, 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 of Jehoshaphat, which I will still lay emphasis on it into full details for us this morning. In chapter five, in verse five, in, chapter, in, in verse three and five, verse three and five of this, uh, this scripture, Verse 3 and 5. Now as he sat on the Mount, Mount of Olive, the disciple came to him privately saying, Tell us, when will this thing be? And what will be the signs of your coming and of the end of the world? 
For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. They asked him, give us or tell us when are you coming? But not what they want to hear that he tell them. But he tell them what will be a good benefit for them. Don't be deceived. This is what is going to happen. For my coming, just don't worry. But what you need to take care of is be careful not to be deceived. If you don't want to be deceived, one thing you must consider is that you should know the word of God to your own understanding if you don't want to be deceived how in hebrew 13 verse 4 verse 9 hebrew 13 verse 9 if you don't want to be deceived you must make sure that the word of god is richly established in your heart you must know what you are doing if you don't want to be deceived Let's go. Please, we are reading together. Do not be carried about with what? Various doctrine. Establish your heart with the word of God. The Bible is complete. Do not be carried about with various and strange doctrine. For it is good that the heart be established by grace. Not with food which have not profited those who have been occupied with them. If you don't want to be deceived, that is number one. Number two, Colossians 2, verse 8 to 10. In Colossians 2, verse 2, 8 to 10, warn us to beware. Beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy. True philosophy, empty deceit. There is one of our brother here, he's not more here now, where we are in a once road. And he came out one day. He told us that why he ran away from the church that is going to by then, he said half of the church they are coming with dictionary. How many of us are still remember this story? You remember? He said, half of the church will come with dictionary. Then we ask, why are they coming with dictionary? He said, even though people are not coming with Bible, they come with dictionary. In this country. He said, when the man of God will begin to blow a grammar that we don't, you'd never know about the grammar at all, you'll find the meaning in dictionary. So instead of them to be coming to with their Bible, they come with dictionary because they don't know where, where, what, what, what they are going to hear again. That is why the Bible says, Beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principle of the world, and not according to Christ. He said that is why he left the church. Not according to Christ. Philosophy. They turn Bible upside down. What they want you to hear is what they will tell you. What they are doing, they will not bring it out. Praise the Lord. Instead of them to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the church, they make entertainment. Philosophy. Empty world. Not only that, that is why the Bible says in the book of 2 John 10. 2 John 10 verse 10 and 11. 2 John 10 and 11. The word of God says, if anyone comes to you, 2 John, he has only one. 2 John. 2 John. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this doctrine, which doctrine? 
the doctrine of our Lord Jesus Christ. The doctrine of our Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren, I want to reach some certain place today. I will just say it. You will understand what I'm saying. When John starts his own ministry, how many of us who can tell me the first message of John? How many of us? The first message. Repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. After Jesus have tempted and overcome the temptation, how, who can tell me the first message of the Lord Jesus Christ? Repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. That is what he asks us to be preaching. Praise God. So now John says, if anyone comes to you and does not bring this doctrine, do not receive him. To where? To where? Nor greet him. What next? For he who greets him share in his evil deed. When you give them attention, you are encouraging them to do more. The doctrine of the Lord Jesus Christ. The doctrine of the kingdom. Where are we going? Is the world is coming to an end one day? Yes. Second Thessalonians 3. Verse 14 and 15. Second Thessalonians 3, verse 14 and 15. And if anyone does not obey our word in this epi episode, note that person and do not keep what? What? You didn't bring something that we, we, that we jam and straight up. Don't keep company with him that may be ashamed. Verse 15. Yet do not count him as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. Tell him what you are doing, my brother, it's not good. Open your mouth. That's what the Bible is saying. When I was in Germany, I preached a message to my members that they should obey the law of the country, obey the laws of this, obey the law. Even though I say, even though traffic lights, that was on Sunday. Somebody said on Sunday. So I went to work on Monday, and I was coming. Mommy said, Pastor, when you are coming, please buy me McDonald's. And it's very cold. That time, very cold. Snow is falling. And Madonna is at the front of the bus stop at Vans Mart. If anybody has been to Germany here. So, and, this, and the road was, was so big. And the traffic light is not yet turned to red. I look right. I look left. I did not know that my member, one of my member, hide in a corner, watching the pastor preach yesterday. And I just crossed. I'm running. Ah, Daddy Borini, I saw you. I saw you preach this thing yesterday. I was very ashamed. <laughs> in the middle of the road, I'm, I'm just. Can I go back? Can I continue? Are you listening to me? So, before it will spread the news, I begin to call the member one after the other. I've done this, I've done this. So, if so, so sister call you, please have. So, I report myself to them. Because if, he, if she's going to report to them, they will add Cory and. Yet do not count him as an enemy, 
but admonish him as a brother. Call him, what you know, brother, sit down. I need your five minutes, I need your 10 minutes. Speak to them, talk to them. It shall be well with us in Jesus' name. Now in Romans 16, verse 17, Romans 16 and verse 17, the Bible says also, for it is righteous for God. Romans 16, not one. Romans 16, verse 17. Now I urge you, brethren, not those who cause what? <laughs> Do we follow this? I'm saying this morning. I'm taking us to something but I will not pass my time. Anywhere we reach today, we stop, we continue. This is a message we're not going to rush. Not those who cause what? Uh -huh. And contrary to the doctrine which you learn, avoid them. One of our sisters, they sit here years back. And a sister, I think she's her friend. And maybe we are preaching or maybe there is something in the house of God by then. No, preaching. Instead of the sister to listen, she was texting that sister. She's in my 12th. That one is in my 2 in the same church where preaching is going on. The teacher was, the sister was texting. Do you hear what he's saying now? Do you hear this and that? Begin to text. And the sister showed the text to her husband in the church. I love that her husband. He said, never let me see you with this woman again. In the church. In the church. Romans 16, 17 is the answer. Now I hold you. I beg you. If you want to make heaven, if you want, when rapture comes, you want to go with rapture. Because where you and that sister or brother will be standing, talking, uh, 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 making, uh, what they call it? Uh, uh, uh. No, 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 no. Gossip, rapture will come. It may be on your phone, rapture will come. But the Bible says, not those who cause division and offenses contrary to the word, to contrary to the doctrine, which you learn, avoid them. Don't keep malice, but avoid them. When they call, you don't pick their phone. Are you listening to me? Then in 1 Corinthians 5, 1 Corinthians 5, verse 11 and 13. 1 Corinthians 5, verse 11 and 13. I, I don't have much time this morning. But now I have written to you not to keep company with anyone named a brother who is sexually immoral or convertus or an idolater or a reveler or a drunkard or an extortioner not even to eat with such a people. But everybody wants to see party. You follow them to party. Russia can come that day. Anyone that cannot bring things to you that will make you, that will jar your spirit up, the Bible says you avoid them. We are talking about the end, the signs of the end time. If you want to make heaven, we are preaching Christ to you here. There's a kind of party you can go. One of our sisters, let me tell you the kind of food you are eating. I'm, I used to go to party. You know, I, you can, I can't go to strange party. If Brawali want to do something, he invited me, I will be there. And invited me to come and pray. If I pray, I will sit down. At least I will cool myself. Isn't it, sir? So that is kind of party. If Sister Kindy or the 
Taiwo, Sister uh, Onida. Um, so he invited me. They invite me as their pastor to come and do what? Pray. And if I sit down, if I don't want to eat there, they do what? The package. Isn't it? So, what I'm saying is, that sister is my daughter. It's a caterer. The party you are going. So, they signed, someone gave her the contract, and the person gave, brought salt from his house. And he told the sister, this is the salt I wanted to use. And that our sister was asked, why do you want me to use this salt? I have salt in my house. He said, no. This salt is a special. He said, I'm doing this party for Sarah. And that's why I call people. And the sister, if that should be the case, I will refund your money. I can't use demonic salt to destroy people's destiny. At the same time, a caterer, they gave her, in this country, they gave her a contract to cook. The caterer put all the meats they want to eat in the bathroom in their bath. No, the celebrant is the celebrant. The food, the meat, they put it in the, uh, the bath. He stood upon it, he washed with uh, black soap, everything inside the mix, and they gave it to Ketra to cook, and they took it to the party. I'm telling the truth in this country. And when you get there, say, ah, your love, you must do. Amen. I'm telling the truth in this country. Liar will not make heaven. In this country, the meat you are eating, they wash themselves there with soap. You wash a private part, everything, wash his bomb bomb and everything, stand on it, and you are eating it in the party. Only, ah, fried rice is a special. Amen. He said, not even to eat with such a person. Many of us, because of the jollof rice and fried rice, destiny have lost. Praise God. We should not forget that Jesus lay emphasis on deceiver, on deceiver, on deceiver. In Matthew 24, verse 4 to 6, Jesus lay emphasis on this. Then in Ephesians 5, verse 6, in Ephesians 5 and verse 6, let no one deceive, let no one deceive you with empty words. For because of this thing, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Second Timothy 3, verse 13 to 17. Second Timothy 3, verse, okay, let me do it in this way. Let me tell you, sir, Amma, no one can deceive you unless you deceive yourself. No one can deceive you unless you deceive yourself. How? In 1 Corinthians 3, verse 18 and 19. 1 Corinthians 3, 18 and 19. No one can deceive. You know what you are doing. You know yourself. Let no one deceive himself. Jesus warned us that we should not allow anyone to deceive us, isn't it? Now, Paul was telling us here now, let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you seems to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may become wise. Yes? For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God, for it is written, he catches the wise in their own craftiness. In their own 
procrastinate. Don't be deceived. No wonder that the Bible says in the book of Proverbs 3 and Proverbs 9, verse 9. Proverbs 9, verse 9. It says, Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be still wiser. Teach a just man, the person that want to that don't want to perish. Teach the person that want to make heaven. Teach the person that know that this world is empty. Yesterday, one of my daughter, after the program here, came to my office. We were just talking about things that is going on in the whole world. Then they talk about the man, the managing director or CEO of Access Bank who died on a, on a, what they call it, on a uh, helicopter. The kind of house that he built in, is it Banana Island or, or Gede Island? <laughs> Amen. He thank you, sir. And no one can live there, no one can manage it. They say they want to turn it to a museum. Sir, when they buried the man, they didn't take anything away. The access bank, if God will, it will continue. Isn't it? And that person will take the office. Isn't it? So where are we going? Heaven is our race. Don't misquote me. I didn't say we should not make it. I didn't say we should not have money. I didn't say we should not have car. If there is no money to maintain this house, we can't come and listen to the word of God. Is it it? We will reach there. It may not be today. The Bible did not say we should not make money. It, it said, but the love of money. It didn't say you should not make money. It didn't say you should make money your God. It didn't say you should be worshipping money. If you look at what God said in the book of Deuteronomy 28, He said they will pursue you and overtake you. It did not say you should pursue them. They will be your messenger. It did not say you will be their messenger. Isn't it? So here I say, give instruction to a wise man and will be, it will be still wiser. Teach a just man and it will increase in learning. It will increase in learning. It will increase in learning. First Corinthians, First Corinthians 10, verse 15. First Corinthians 10, verse 15. I speak, as to, I speak as to wise men. Judge for yourself what I say. Which means, is it right for me to make heaven? Is it right for me not to make heaven? Judge for yourself. Judge for yourself. I told you that Jesus lay emphasis on that deceive, 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 deceive. And Jesus mentioned something about endurance. Endurance. That is where I'm going to stop this morning. Then Jesus talked about endurance in verse 13 of Matthew 24. Endurance, he talked about endurance, he talked about do not be deceived. He talk about take it of yourself. He talk about wash very well. He says, but he who endure to the end shall be saved. You endure. You don't listen to what people are saying. Amen. I told us yesterday, I called a cab on Friday to come and pick me from home here. And one of our brothers, is an old member of this church, is the one that said to come and pick me. And because I'm listening to some uh, messages on the YouTube inside the car when we are coming, I did not recognize that our brother. Immediately I enter, he recognized me. Now, 
as you enter into this compound, I asked him, how much is my money? Instead of him to tell me, the brother bring out 20 pounds and he gave it to me. He said, Daddy, please, let me put this money in offering basket. Then I asked again, how much is my money? Then he, he began to smile. Oh, I said, I mentioned this name. I said, ah, brother, I don't know this was you. So when we started, my brother said now, he said, sir, you are a strong man. He, mentioned, he said three times, you are a strong man. You are a strong man. He said, upon all what is happening to you since 2018, the church is still standing and you are still standing. Why? I did not compromise. I don't allow anyone to deceive me. I don't welcome shame because I know where I'm going. Sir, if you make it good, they will talk about you. If you make it good in the other side, they will talk about you. Why can't you stick into what you know that you are doing? God gave us this much to talk, either good or bad. So the man said, you are here on Friday. Then I say, sir, you asked me to put 20 pounds in the offering basket, I said, which means your soul, spirit, and body is still in this church. I say, which means you love this church. I say, which means you still love me. I say, yes, sir. I say, okay, when are you coming back to your father's house? He say, very soon. Then I say, okay, give me your number. I will follow you up. Sir, whatever you are doing, the people who fear God, who know God, knows either you are doing good or bad. The man continues, he says, I used to carry many people, but they did not know that I know you, sir. That when they come inside car, they will begin to say, there's a pastor in this country, Pastor Joshua, new life. That man, that man, they begin to talk good about the man. He will attend to you. He will listen to you. He will do this. He will do that. The man said, I begin to smile. Either you are doing good, people know. If you are doing bad, people know. But remember the people that know that you are doing good. If they want to finish you. Okay, can I do something? Come, Dickness. Quickly. You know that she very closer to me, isn't it? Yes or no? Now, assuming one day she came here and he began to preach, then he stood up. He said, Baba, the secret between me and you, the whole world we know. Are you listening? Either there is secret or not, because you have said it, our enemy will become a friend of her that day. Yes or no? They want to hear the secret. And whatever she opened her mouth to say, uh, they will say, no, 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 no. So you know what she's saying. Isn't it? Isn't it, sir? The enemy, our enemy, we like to associate it ourselves to, to her to hear the secret. But maybe Satan will not use you. It's not you. Maybe Satan, I'm just telling you. They just want to destroy and finish the person. But don't look at that place if you are going to heaven. If you are going to somewhere. If you want to make it, Jesus said it. Don't be deceived. Even though he continues to say, even the elect. Even the what? The elect. And Paul was telling us, don't deceive yourself. Study the word of God. Hacking on to what you learn, what you know. But you endure to the end, shall be saved. Endure temptation. Endure any condition you are. Endure any situation you are. I told them here yesterday, challenges or problem is just like a cloud. It's just like when you are flying in the air. 
There's a place that you will go to, your plane, they will not see it again. He enter into the cloud, and all of a sudden, it will come out. Isn't it, sir? So challenges is a cloud. When it comes, it will go. When you enter into it and endure, you will come out successfully. The brother give testimony. He just tell you the, the, the area you, you, you want to know. That I, they called me and they gave me the job. Can you say, Bell? It's not stolen. It's a battle that I'm always at 2 a.m., at times 1 a.m., he will call me. I will console him. The Lord has sent me to his house for deliverance. How many times? Maybe one or two times. He has, he's in Cambridge. He has come here time without number. So when there is battle, when you know that this is a battle, face it and fight it. Face it and do what? And when he got this one, I said, the Lord will give it to you. Sir, he has been on it. He's not, I think he got it last month. There's a time that they say the person I want to approve it is not around. The person I want to sign it, he travel. He will call me. I say, it is settled. We begin to continue to pray for mercy, Lord, grace, Lord, this. Until last. Anytime he called me, my heart make me. But when, but when he called me on Thursday, ask him, I shouted 21 hallelujah, that that battle is gone. I will have peace of mind. So we'll be able to face another one. It shall be well with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we are talking of endurance. When Jesus Christ said, when whoever that is endured to the end shall be saved, James now tell us in the book of James 1. In the book of James 1, if we read it from verse 2, 3, 4. James 1. My time is up. My brethren, can we read it together, please? My brethren. Right, now, let's demonstrate it. First, your brethren now. Uh huh. Uh huh. Count it all. Here we come, sir. Challenges, problem. If you don't want it to come, that glory return back to him. As your glory is big, rich, so also your problem. Oh. Some people will say, hey, Baba, hey, why, why this thing has happened to me? I say, go and meet Joseph. Ask him. I really translate. It's a proverb. It's a Yoruba proverb. So we have not seen this before. We'll be receiving our stuff. Okay, let me help you. First Corinthians 10 13. Let me help you. Now, you haven't seen this before. No. At the age of 17, Joseph faced his own. No temptation has overtaken you, except what? Such as is common. What you are passing through, come on. Yeah, what come you? Come on. Oh, come let me get there, huh? There is no money in my pocket. Thousands of people are going to bear. Many thousands of people, their pockets are dry. Are you listening to me? Let us pursue heaven. I know we are going to spend our 120 years on earth. Amen. But after this planet, where are you going? Huh. Ma, you are there. That is why they are calling you. Isn't it, sir? If you are not there, huh? Praise God. No temptation has overtaken you, such as 
such as is common to man, but God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. If I see some people say you want to go and hang yourself, you want to go and commit suicide, I say you, you, that's all well and good. But I know that God knows the people that is fed up. The one you are saying is just by tongue. Amen. But with the same, but with the temptation, we also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. If your business falls, don't run away. Through that business, you will make it back. How many speaking? If your ministry is bent, it's a temptation. Don't run away from the ministry. Through that ministry, God will show up. The same challenges, the same problem. Don't run away from it. Seek for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All shall be added unto you. Let's go back to James, then I round up. Endurance. Endure. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. Knowing that the test of your faith produces patience. Maybe God wants to bring your shoulder down. Maybe there is snake around you, dog around you. God wants to fish them away before he settles that case. Maybe God wants you to know who is who, who is your friends. Praise God. But let patient have its own what? Perfect what? Yes. That you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. On half, you'll be number one. There, you'll be number one. Lacking nothing. You will not lack the kingdom of God. You will not lack the kingdom of the earth. You will not lack anything good. You will not lack good health. You will not lack long life. Let the, let the patient, the endurance, have its own perfect work. Sickness will be far away. Isaiah 54 verse 14. Then we come back to James. Then we, 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 we run it up. In righteousness, what is going to happen? Huh? In righteousness, what is going to happen? Did he say in fast? Did he say in pray? Did he say in night vigil? Every God has his own standard. In righteousness, you shall be what? What is happening? You shall be far from oppression. For you shall not fear and from terror. Just be righteous in that area. Just be righteous. Don't put your hand in destroy someone's life. The people that is calling you, tell them to stop. I've opened the scripture for you. Jesus Christ was, was, was lay emphasis on deceive and endurance. Endurance and deceive. Don't let anyone deceive you. Brethren. Let's go back to James. James 2. James 2. Verse 3. I think we are in verse 3. Okay, verse 4. But let patience have its own perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Verse 5, very quickly. If any of you lack wisdom, Lack wisdom, lack wisdom, lack wisdom, lack wisdom. Let him ask of God, who gave to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. What dickness faith did not have, if I go to her, it will mislead me. Why? Because she don't have it. 
Amen. My wife, she's a nurse. If anything wrong into my system, she will advise me. Isn't it? Brawale is a pharmacy. If anything wrong with my system, if I go to him, he will advise me. But if he's beyond his capacity, he will tell me, go and meet your GP. And when you go to the GP, and it's above GP capacity, he will recommend you to the, those are the people that have what you need. But you didn't meet them, you didn't meet my wife. Maybe headache or whatever. And you meet Sister Taiwo, Sister Taiwo, I'm having headache, I need to know APC. <laughs> Amen. But the people that understand it, they will ask you, how did it happen? In what side? Not every headache is APC. Because Tobaya Wanikololo, what is the opposite? No, not another APC, I want me to do PDP, Wanikololo PDP. Praise the Lord. <laughs> But let him ask in what? Let him ask in faith. With no doubting. For he who doubt is like a wave of the sea. Driving and tossed by the wind. Stand on your feet. The signs. If you are clapping, we clap for Jesus. The signs of the time and the end of the world. That is what we are preaching. If you want to make it, separate yourself. Bible, I've given you a lot of scriptures who say you should separate. There's a place that says you should not greet them. Talk less of welcome them into your house. It's not a sin. Second John 10, he says you should not greet them. Paul says, they are our brethren, he says, admonish them, sit them down, open the scripture for them. It wasn't so. Amen. Sister Mata, maybe last year, if she met a lady at a uh, eight-way, and the lady was, maybe they are just talking, maybe they are doing the air for themselves. He said, cool church, are you going to say new life? Ah, he said new life. Hear this, hear this, hear. Then the man, Sister Martha now asks, Did you know the man? He said, No. Did you know the church? He said, No. But what you are saying, how do you hear it? They tell me. They do what? And Sister Martha told the sister, What you are saying, I never see it in the hand of that man you are talking about. Too. But if it's another person I want to follow them, he will take it. And if matter will meet Sister Tony, he will add curry, pepper, uh, what? Eh? Time. Yes. To make it. He will add more than what they are saying. You understand? But she silenced that sister. And immediately the sister said, May God forgive me. That is what the Bible is saying. You want to make heaven. Don't let them take what you know. Many of us will have a good heart. Many of us will have a good heart. Many of God want to serve God. But deceiver. And Jesus warned us against this deceiver. Against what? This deceiver. There's a time, sorry to say this, a woman went to go and meet one of her brother. They know that the man loved me, I love the man, and I respect him most. Not that because he's here. If I say respect, I respect him and his family. And they went to go and meet the man that Baba and Doni, they are, have signed check down. So they take money in the church the way they like. Then the wife of the man said, 
Don't listen to these people. Go and meet Baba. Call a meeting. And they came here. They called a meeting. And I brought out the check of the church. I show it to the man first. Sir, is there anywhere they signed check here? He said no. So do you believe the woman that parabletin tried to destroy me? And they are asking her, Ma, talk. You are asked us to call me this Baba. Talk. She can't talk. Then there was a sister then. That one is, they, they don't take nonsense. He said, why are we parabletting around the bush? Ma, you came to us that this man, they are signing check, they are doing this, they are doing that. And they have brought out the check of the church. Where is Donny sign? Where did he sign? She can't talk. Assuming they didn't bring the woman here, and they want to follow the woman, they will listen to what she's saying. And this woman is, I call you, ma, come and be one of the trustees of this church. If I want to steal, am I going to call her? I told her, Let's tra let the church be trans transparent. Up to today, up to today, my name is not in the church account. Up to today, I didn't sign check. That is why I'm always telling you, me, Olawale, I will make heaven. If I eat the church money, where am I going at the end? Let me tell you, if I need something, I know the people I can go to, they will not say Baba is begging. I'm telling you honestly. If I need, if I go to Brawali, I will just go to his office. His wife won't allow self. That is it. Sir, I need this thing. Even though he would be happy that I ask. I know the poor I can meet here. I'm telling you honestly. The other time I told you that we went to market and the, the container of uh, beans is six pounds. Immediately I left the shop, I called Sister Tracy. Make one pot of uh, beans for me. She will be happy. She will not say this Baba they don't have baby being bad. Isn't it? The moment she make it, I ate it. My angel will bless her. That is what you don't know. And since you have been coming to this house and the people that have left, how many people that I went to the house knocking that I say I'm hungry? No one. I didn't borrow. I didn't take. If I don't have, you can't know. I'm always be happy. I'm always. I didn't raise money in this church unless if God said it. If we need something, I will announce it. Before you will know it, God will touch the heart of people that we bless. So that's why I'm telling you that we make heaven. And if I'm preaching about the signs of the end time, please, you yourself, check yourself. I told us last time we are doing MOT. Not that I'm, I, I'm not saint. I'm not, I didn't tell you that I'm a pure righteous. Do you understand? I didn't say I'm pure, but to a certain certain stage, I'm qualified. You understand? We want to pray this prayer prayer now. Raise up your right hand. Say, my father. Please, I want to, to, to cry, to scream like no man business. Say, my father. Every evil hands blocking my breakthrough. Be paralyzed. Open your mouth and pray. Every evil hands blocking my miracle. Be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Talk to God right now. Whatever hand that blocking my miracle, be paralyzed. Jesus said, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted shall be uprooted. Ask that arm to be uprooted now. Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted shall be uprooted. Every demonic hand, satanic hands, every hand from the witches and wizards and witchcraft try to block my breakthrough, to block my success, to block my joy, be paralyzed now in the name of Jesus. Talk to God, let them be part of every bad dream, 
every satanic dream that is hijacking my breakthrough, hijacking my good news. I neutralize that dream right now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Brethren, talk to God, talk to God, talk to God. Yes, my Father, my God, let them be paralyzed. Let them be paralyzed. In Jesus' name we pray. Raise your right hand. Say, my Father. Is that how you can shout? Loud and clear. Let this week be the week of my testimony and week of good news. Open your mouth in the name of Jesus. Daddy, I declare this week the week of testimony and good news in my life, in my family, in my marriage, in this church. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. In my marriage, let this week be the week of testimony and good news. Open your mouth and decree. Let this week be the week of my testimony. I declare and I prophesy. This week we speak on our behalf. This week we favor us. This week we fight our battle for us. We will cross over this week. We will reach our goal this week. Enemies of this we will not hijack this week in our hand. I pray our life will not lost in this week. We will not bury anyone young in this week in the name of Jesus. None of the part of our body will leave us in this week. Yes, we will make it in this week. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be the holy name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Put your hands together and be seated. If you came late, if you came late to this house today, you have not yet dropped your offering and your tithe. Choir, please, very quickly, so that we can share the grace. If you are blessed today, shout it louder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This kind of God, oh, I never see your kind of. Sunday, we did see you. Amen. Are we not missing him? We miss him. So, which means every first Sunday, don't miss it. <laughs> Mama, you push him out, okay? Every first Sunday. He loves to dance to God. Yes. Everlasting Father, Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we bless your name, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, with our offering and our tithe, Father, Lord, we say thank you. For giving us resources, we bless your name. Father, Lord, we pray this afternoon, O Lord. Rebook Devora from all our resources, O Lord. Father, for those that wish to give, but they don't have. Father, this week, O Lord, meet them at the point of their needs, O Lord. Father, Lord, visit them, O Lord. Surprise them, O Lord. Lord, and for those that have given, or those that desire to give, but they don't have the spirit to give. Father, Lord, touch their heart, O oh Lord. That which that will make them to realize that it's good to give to the Lord. Father, Lord, speak to them, O oh Lord. Father, let this offering and the tithes, Lord, let it be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord. And let's use it for the propagation of your words. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Brother Olaleka, please come. On the 29th of, Feb of, of March is our Good Friday. So we have in this house, they have shown it before, 
worship and movies night. Worship and movies night. So let every one of us come and look at uh, watch the Passion for Christ and so on and so forth. 7 p.m. Brother Olale can yes, quickly. Please help me clap for this brother. Let me clap for him. This is the passenger of kingdom of God. How many of us take note of what happened last week? You take note. I was there, sitting down, and I saw him plant his ear. Then he put on cap. Then I send a, an usher to him to tell him to remove his cap. So when he removed the cap, I saw that he has plant his ear. If it is in the only days, I will walk him out. So I just went and go and meet him. I said, my son, I love you. This is not for you. And I was thinking he will not come today to rebel. He planted like sister being pacel, exactly like this. I'm telling you. But today, he removed it. The Lord God Almighty will honor you. The Lord God Almighty will take you to your next level. In this nation, the Lord will say to you, if it is some people, start up, sir, they will not. I'm also waking up by we. That is what we are preaching. When you get home, read left to cost seven, left to cost eight, left to cost nine, left to cost ten. Lord God talk about this. Man should not use the nature of woman. Woman should not use the nation of man. Even though you talk, you should not shave around your head. Even though the beer beer you are living, when you read it, you will cut it off. For all the mothers here that will leave your son to cut this place, to cut this place, to leave this place. Go and look at this in the left course. God don't want it. If you want to make heaven. Now, last Sunday, if rapture come, can he go? But today, if rapture come, yours fully. As you obey and honor God, I decree again, sir, the Lord will honor you. Yeah. It is not me that you honor, but you honor the one who sent me. And the one who sent me will lift your hand up yeah. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's clap for him against the circumstance. Go back. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Let's stand up and share the grace together. The Bible says, faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. It is when you hear the word of God that you will know that you have set free. From there now, from the hand of the devil, you have set free. I went to go and cut my hair yesterday. Is it not 10 pounds? But the planting of that hair, maybe it's 30 pounds or 40 pounds. What is very handsome. Yes, anybody that this 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 guy, I will just call them one kind of name. But now it's very handsome. Very handsome. I think we have shared this. Don't take one. This is how we are doing it. Take five, take ten. Give it to your colleagues, give it to your friends. Maybe you don't understand what Sister Ora is doing, saying it's for our convention. It's not for the church, it's for our convention. So just take it now, 10, 5, share it at your workplace. Give it to your colleagues, give it to your friends, and collect it back on the when? On the 1st of 21st, please. Go around now, go, go and give uh, Brawale 5, give his wife 5, 5, 5. You give it to your staff, sir.